Hi there and good morning and welcome to Quentin Carpenter's Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these shapes I've been using a lot lately in some of the animations I've been making. It is called a torus and it is basically a donut with a hole in the middle and um, two circles. We'll break it down into simple steps to show you how to construct it. It's all done in the flat. It gives the optical illusion that it's three-dimensional and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Um, First of all, we all need to be in Photoshop, or you could use Photopea. You can do the same thing in either application, depending on what you've got available to you. I'll do it in Photoshop as it's convenient for me today. So to do this, first of all, we need to be in a new document. We will need to create a circle. To create a circle, we use the circle shape. We need to make sure we've got it no fill, this size stroke, 10 points, this length line, and if I open one, you can see that it is 900 pixels by 900 pixels. Now, we need two circles next to each other touching like this to start the shape. And you can see that all the rest of the shape, if I go back to it, is derived from this starting point of two circles. All we need to do then is copy and paste the circle many times and we will change the dimensions of it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you the dot in the middle. So this is where they meet. You put a little dot in. Then we need a small circle here to connect the two at the top, which will make sense in a minute. We then need another circle above that here, connecting these two. And you can see that these are very small little circles. You can see what size they are up here. And I'll make sure I click on it so you can see which size to type in for your circles. So the next one is slightly bigger and coming around to the side here. Then we will add the fourth circle and you can see this time it's getting bigger and rounder. We will then need to do an even bigger one connecting the top of the circles here all the way around and level with the top of this one. Once we've done that circle, we'll need another one coming around from here to there. And you can see this one is quite a large circle. We will then need a one across the middle there, which is a similar sort of size. What we're doing is we're lining up the circles with the edges of the first three circles so that we now we've done the top bit. We basically repeat this section down at the bottom. So there's the bottom one and the next one. And you can see that layer 11 is practically the same as layer four. Okay. Some people like to say as above, so below, but it is very true in this situation because we are doing an identical pattern. It's symmetrical across the middle axis. Okay. So it looks completely flat at the moment. It's just our brain is trying to process it and putting it into three dimensional shape because we've got the overlapping circles. Now, next, we need to add some of the ones going around the side. You can see if I click on this one that this shape here will be going all the way around the layers as it comes around. And you can see as it comes around where it will go. So you can see it goes around and round. And now you see on this layer, what I've done to create a bit of an illusion of three dimensionality is I've added a 49% opacity to it. That way it looks slightly grayer against the black, so it would appear to be going from behind. So then you've got another one, another one, and another one. And you can see this one is exactly the same shape as the one in front, but because it's slightly grayer, it gives the appearance that it is going behind it. And there is another one. Another one, another one, another one, and in, ultimately we will return all the way around to do the front ones. So you can see it's basically there's four ellipses and then the original circle. So that makes nine circles per side. And we go around here to our last one there. And then if I click on the background there, so we haven't got that thing. You can now see the pattern, how it evolved. It is a pure optical illusion. It's not three-dimensional in any way. We can't pick it up and rotate it or anything like that. 
but I've been using this pattern, like I say, for lots of the animations recently, and um, there's lots you can explore with it, and it's an interesting shape. Literally a donut made out of two circles. Well, have fun making your own and experimenting. Obviously, with the circle shapes, you can change the numbers up here. You can change the percentages. So if I click on one, another way you can adjust it is if I go on this circle here. You can see I can go edit, transform, scale, and I can change it by percentages instead if I wanted to change it by percentages. Okay, well, there you go. Have fun. Literally, press enter. Have fun exploring. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, come over to the channel and you can see that I have been using this animation for lots of my recent work along here. Okay, and I'll just play this quickly so you can see what it looks like as a little stop motion. I'll put that big so you can see it nicely. So, there you go. You can see how you can turn that into an animation which is always interesting and you can see how it turns around it comes back again and goes back to the beginning and then it starts all over again it's amazing how circles can make all these amazing patterns okay we'll come out of this go back to the channel and you can see there are lots of different examples on my channel at the moment okay have fun and um talk to you later cheers now Goodbye.